Every single observer who's not an elected official, who's not a politician, says we can't reduce our deficit in the scale and scope that we need to without having a balanced approach that looks at everything. Democrats have to accept some painful spending cuts that hurt some of our constituencies and we may not like. And we've shown a willingness to do that for the greater good, to say, look, there's some things that are good programs, they're nice to have, we can't afford them right now. You know, I've said to some of the Republican leaders, you go talk to your constituents, the Republican constituents, and ask them, uh, are they willing to compromise their kids' uh, safety so that some corporate jet owner continues to get a tax break? And, and I'm pretty sure what the answer would be. And if you look substantively at what we've done, we, say, we have done exactly what we said to do under a UN mandate, and we have protected thousands of lives in the process. And as a consequence, a guy who was a state sponsor of terrorist operations against the United States of America uh, is pinned down, and the noose is tightening around him. That They've got to be treated like every other American. Uh, and I think that principle uh, will win out. It's not going to be perfectly smooth. And it turns out that the President, I've discovered since I've been in this office, can't dictate uh, precisely how this process moves. Um, but I think uh, we're moving in a direction of greater equality. Uh, and, and I think that's a good thing.